this is just for the uh, extra channel. I bought this uh, eight port gigabit desktop switch. And I figured, well, you know, I mean, I have it. Might as well do a little little opening. This again, like I said, this is just gonna go into the, uh, the second channel. Don't really post on there that much. But I figured we've got this here. We'll just do a little opening. I know it's just a box opening, it's no big deal. But um, yeah, I've been meaning to get one of these for a little while and I'm having to now because I've got so many little things that are attached to my network now and I just need more ports. So yeah, uh, eight port from TP-Link. Lifetime warranty, not bad. Uh, ter uh, traffic prioritization, multicast optimization, green technology, durable metal housing plug and play. Sounds good. All right, let's see. Let's crack you open. Here's our little installation guide. It's got a little, uh, got a little weight to it. Okay. Uh, let me see what else we got here. Uh, we got, oh, we got some little foot pads. Uh, we got our plug. Oh, kind of a, kind of a dinky little plug, but for an item like this, I don't think we're gonna really need like a massive giant plug or anything. So this should be fine. All right, make sure we're here. And then we're gonna take a quick look at the switch itself. Now this isn't like a review or anything. This is, just, we're just looking at it. So I'm gonna put you down right here, put you right there. And yeah, there we go. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, we've got eight ports. And from what I understand, your internet can go pretty much at any of these and then it just switches you know, the data around. Okay, it is, it is metal. A little, uh, what is it like? I think they call it a, a Kensington lock. So they got back there. There's our little power thing. Yeah, five volts, 0.6 amps. Yeah, I hear these things do not use very much power at all. Like at idle, they use something like six watts. It's really small. Don't don't quote me on that, but I know it's really really small. And of course, there's the little place there where you can get your little feet and put them right on there. So if you can just you know, stick it right there on your desk or wherever you're gonna have it. This is not gonna be on my desk. This is gonna be over by my TrueNAS server. I'm gonna put this thing right over there. And I guess if I want to, I can also, you know, I'm thinking about doing one of those, uh, I've seen people do them. Basically it's like, uh, they call it a network board where all of their networking and wireless stuff uh, that they have to basically create their home network uh, is all based on, basically they stick it on one board and then you just use these little attachments and then hook them all there so they're all relatively close to each other. I'm thinking I might do that because I'm getting to the point where I have a lot of stuff. I've got like the modem, I've got the wireless router, now I'm going to add the switch, I've got the NAS, I've got a laptop over there, and then of course I've got my main computer. So yeah, it's getting a little busy over there. So, but yeah, this is actually not bad. I think I paid something like $24 for this. Yeah, it wasn't very expensive. These these things are actually not very expensive at all. Now, if you go to the ones that are like 2.5 gigabit, those get a little expensive. Um, they are getting more affordable, but they are a little more expensive. So yeah, if you just want regular gigabit, which is fine for me for right now, then yeah, a little thing like this works perfectly fine. Really neat. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Again, this is just an extra video. Uh, we'll see you next time.